The chemical database service that will be rolled out to the UK academic community will include integration to ACD iLab, Advanced Chemistry Development Interactive Laboratory. The premise of iLab is very simple. You have the ability to upload a chemical and you can either draw it or convert the name to a structure or upload a mol file for example and then search across a series of databases, physical property databases, NMR databases, etc. Alternatively, you can draw a chemical, novel chemical, one that you may be synthesizing, working on, studying, and then generate properties. These can include things like systematic names, physical chemical properties, uh, ADME, toxicity, or NMR. As an example, rather than draw volume, I'm going to look it up in the ACD Labs dictionary. So I type in the name tells me it exists. It's retrieving it from the dictionary. This is the chemical structure. Here are some of the properties that it's calculated. And now if you look over on the left hand side you see the various modules. Let's start with something like naming. I want to generate a UPAC name. Here's the systematic name. I can download the report. There are various options that I can use. Many of these you may not even be aware of in terms of what what you can set for generating names. Many of you will simply just want to generate the systematic name. However, let, next I may be interested in predicting an NMR spectrum. So in this case, I open the NMR modules, I calculate the carbon NMR spectrum. This is using algorithms that have been reported in a number of peer-reviewed publications. It's a well-proven uh, software platform. And here you see the chemical shifts, the errors, and the coupling constants. And you can see a very interactive, rich interface here, where I can zoom in. And as I hover over a particular resonance, you can see the interaction between the table and the actual nucleus highlighted on the, on the molecule. So that's carbon. Uh, we also have the ability to search through the databases, so we can open up the databases directly. These contain hundreds of thousands of chemicals, and these can be searched. We can perform exact structure searches, uh, molecular formula searches, references, etc., etc. This will all be covered in a later display. Let's assume that we'd like to calculate a log p-value. We simply open the FizChem properties, and here we see the log p value is calculated. There's a lot of hover boxes that give us information about what, what each of the values is. You can see here the experimental values for similar structures from the training set that has been used to deliver the log p prediction algorithm. Similarly, we can calculate pKa's, solubility, etc etc. We've also included at release access to a number of other databases primarily because we'd like to get feedback from the community and their value. These are ADME databases and toxicity databases. We'll cover each of these in a separate uh, movie. Hopefully you can see the benefit of having access to a platform that will allow you to both search against high quality curated databases as well as to provide access to the prediction algorithms that are used in many, many pharmaceutical and chemical companies today.